today, 23rd of February, second week. Uh, did you guys read the syllabus? Yeah. Yes, any questions? No. Okay, good. Students, 
and this class is good. I want uh, each group to have one people to present their okay. answer. So I give you like uh, 10 minutes. Is it enough? 10 minutes? Well, more than enough. More than enough? 5 minutes? 10, 10 is more than enough. 10 is fine. Or 5 is fine. Okay. Up to you. Up to, you. Up to me. Okay, so I give you five minutes first. Yeah. Right. If so, not enough, then give you some more time. So quickly, make a group. Make a group. <laughs> 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 So five minutes from now, so to twenty six.
There are so many makeups which brand you won't pick. You won't pick uh, maybe Lancome, Shiseido, any kind of, there are so many brands out there which to pick. So that's why the company, they do different kind of marketing strategies to get their target market, uh, customer. So even, you know, these kind of business is kind of common, right? So even a liar needs a great marketing strategy. I don't know if you guys watching Netflix a lot. I am very addicted to Netflix. So these are uh, the <laughs> recent Netflix documentaries and uh, I just saw these days, and I recommend you if you are interested in some kind of marketing, you can watch this kind of documentary because marketing is you uh, promote something or you selling something to, and you put them into beautiful face, beautiful uh, lies, uh, beautiful meanings, create meanings for them, and selling them to people. So it's very interesting, uh, it's very important to any kind of business. And now I want to uh, introduce I, my three different kind of experience in marketing and advertising. So what exactly I did at my uh, former jobs. So I worked at different kind of parties. At first I worked at, as a PR agency. Do you guys know about PR agency? Okay, so uh, PR agencies basically help clients. For example, the, those industry I just introduced, YouTubers, cars industry, a lot of industries, all the companies building their public relationships, which means like uh, social medias, events to customers, events to medias, or uh, crisis communications, and writing their news release. They are, th this kind of job is what a mostly PR company do, does. And then I transfer to uh, a advertising agency. Advertising agency is more simple. It's just like a uh, PR agency or the brand, they give some uh, targets, they give some goals. For example, I want to sell my products for 100 million. So we based on this kind of uh, goals to do some uh, advertising through like Facebook, online media, or some department store, or some events. So a, uh, the advertising agency is more like do, uh, to s achieve the selling goals, but PR agency is more like uh, promote the brand, selling the concept, building the image of the company. So it's a little bit different, but Mostly they work together. If they serving the same company, same brand, mostly they will co-work together to help the brand to uh, selling, also selling their products and building a great image to the customer, which can help them to sell the product. So it's kind of uh, necessary for the both part. And, and I transfer into a company side, and the company side we call it in-house means uh, both the most of the big companies they have their own PR team and their own advertising team. So if you transfer into a brand, you can do this kind of PR works or advertising work and the company side, and also you can just uh, outsource to this kind of two kind of agencies. So if you uh, work in the company, you can do like more different kind of works in the one place. But if you only just work at agencies, you might just uh, be specific on uh, PR or advertising. So that's quite different. And now I want to ask, how do you think about uh, branding? Because branding is mostly what I did in these, kind of these three different companies. And I want to use a simple uh, example to lead you on what branding really does. So this is a very famous cos cosmetic, everyone knows it, SK2. So uh, when you saw SK2, what do you think? What do you think about the image? Yeah. And? Luxury. <laughs> yeah. Elegance. Elegance. Okay, so in very general, you know, in my mom's age, or maybe Miss uh, Professor Nakazawa's 
先生の H。When they think about SK2, they think about these two people. They, they are a lot, a little bit elder, like for moms. So in the time back to 90s, SK2 was meant to sell for women that was over 40, yeah. maybe 50s. 40s, 50s. 50s. Yeah. Yes. And then in my generation, or a little bit older, maybe 30s or 40s, they, their image of SK2 is as a Haruka. So they changed their image into more younger generations. And now into your kind, your, your generation, I think mostly you know SK2 from uh, Watanabe Naomi, maybe uh, Chloe Mortez. It's getting like more younger and more international. Do you know why? Anybody want to share this? You're thinking about you do why? Okay. Um, because the demographic for a younger market is bigger now, and it would be wise to market to the bigger demographic than to the older generation, which is slowly decreasing. Yes, yes. And did you recognize that? Uh, back to the time they only use Asians, mm -hmm. and now they are add, uh, adding like uh, John Legend. John Legend. Yeah. yeah. And what what do you think that is? Because they want to expand the, the market and following the trend of um, diverse, uh, multinational, multicultural trends. Yes. So this kind of marketing strategies change can show what this brand is going to take their customers. Back to them, they only want to, t from, uh, from the first image, they was going to take the maybe Chinese, China market, only Japan market, maybe Singapore, maybe Hong Kong for those rich agents. And now those rich agents are not enough for their market. So they are changing the vision to into the whole world and make it more younger because nowadays, nowadays I think that old people don't like to spend too much money, but younger people, they still Young, they want to build their image, so it's more uh, efficient to sell this product to the young generation, to the uh, Western Asian uh, generation. So I think this is kind of thing that branding does, because they change a product's images through different kind of strategies. And I want to uh, do a little practice what I usually do when I was working in a PR agency, and you can experience what we do uh, at work. So uh, there are three brands here. If you have the power to choose a brand ambassador for these clients, the three clients, which celebrity you would like to use them for each brand and why? And do you all know these kind of these brands? Okay. So I will give you some uh, <laughs> my select, or you can give me other names you like. I suggest you just uh, group discussion for five minutes, and each group give me each, uh, which celebrity you would like to use for these three brands. Okay, five minutes from now. Go. No question. Then wow. it's my different for the each market, like wow. China. We have to choose a different one. So I would like you to select one amb uh, ambassador and give me your reason why. Because it's not. It, I don't want you give me a right uh, answer to fit their market right now. I want you to image what kind of market these cars and this ambassador fits to which kind of customers. I want you to image what kind of market it is and which. So it's open, open
Yes, yes, yes. 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 No, no, T T I S, and is about one thousand and eight hundred hours, yeah, most hours. Okay. Okay. And ah no, I mean, so you pick this TikToker to be the ambassador because he is driving a Audi car. Yeah, and he is the. He is very specific in cars. He's very, you know, about. He's a oldies breaker. 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 He's a by Jenny Gui, no? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, what kind of customers do you think it's like? Twenties like you? Young generation? Yeah, like... D.U. is this way. D.U. is this way. So maybe mostly in like, China, in Asia. Okay. okay. So how about Mercedes? Is 
lot, a lot of chalk, 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 chalk. <laughs> that is manufactured by Volvo. So the it's, it's known as strong and the solid body structure. 对，那就是我出产很多卡车，然后它主打就是就是结构稳定跟安全，对，所以我会选择 I will choose Tiger or 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 Tiger Woods, 
because um, it's mainly SUVs, and they, uh, I think their cars have a bigger capacity, so you can. It's a golf player, so you can put equipments, a lot of equipments, into the car. And for Mercedes, we chose we chose um, George Clooney because he's more of a father-like. And Aldi, Aldi. Um, we chose Tom Holland because he's a younger generation like us. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 so, so with the Ali, uh, my teammates chose uh, Tom Holland, but I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> because the perceptions towards so Tom Holland is young, a teenager Spider-Man. So I cannot imagine Tom Holland as being Audi's ambassador. So uh, when I think of Audi, I see only Jason Statham. I don't know if you guys know where that. Jason Statham, he's the only guy who would perfectly match with the Audi. <laughs> and the Mercedes Benz is, uh, we chose the George Clooney, tricky, sneaky guy, we know Ocean's Eleven and mm -hmm. uh, we know success movies. And as Danny said, very fine and alpha masculine man, so we chose that. And the Volvo is, uh, we chose Ryan Reynolds, he's a great father. At the same time, he's a really great marketer. Like, if you guys see the, any advertisement with the Ryan Reynolds, his, his jokes are hilarious, his <laughs> jokes are hilarious. So he will make everything turns into jokes, and, and, and it will be a really good match with the Volvo, and he's a great father. Mm -hmm. For me, I think Audi is for is more artistic sense, you know. So driving all these person must have some age because they cannot afford Audi. It's very expensive, even the repair. Mm -hmm. So I would think uh, Robert Downey Jr. or Ryan Reynolds is best for Audis. And for Mercedes Benz, we can tell a lot of sport car from Mercedes Benz. And then there's another sport of athlete called Tiger Woods. Mm -hmm. I think Tiger Woods sitting in the Mercedes Benz, he can express the feeling he played golf, same as he's, you know, uh, driving the Mercedes Benz. Okay. And then last one, Volvo. Volvo is end for family and like uh, safety. So the person who looks will take a lot of responsibility. That's uh, whose name? Uh, no, no, the, the George George Clooney. Yeah, George Clooney looks like a you know very responsible person. <laughs> That's very great for him to sit in Volvo and then take care of his wife, his children, even the golf. Yeah, I think Volvo is bad for George Clooney. Yeah, that's my opinion. Thank you, thank you for all your answers. So there are no yes or uh, no the right answer for this question. Why I ask you to do this? Because if you work in a, a marketing department or an agency, it's your job to tell the brand what kind of market we should uh, target and what kind of investor or what kind of media we should use to get these targets. So through this kind of uh, image, you can think about, okay, so I want to take 20th generation, the generation so I want you Tom Holland or I want you to take like Y generation which I am maybe I use Robert Downey Jr. so you can choose what you want to target and you have to reasonable be reasonable about these kind of reasons and you give your choice to your clients and they will if you're doing a good presentation giving the right reasons they will just do their marketing strategies based on your proposals. So this kind of uh, thinking, uh, brainstorming, is our uh, basic skills during work. And 
Now, uh, second, I want to introduce the, the most, maybe the second important is like social media marketing. Since nowadays, even our grandfathers maybe is on social media, so it's very important to build your uh, brand image or your personal image. I think through this media, so it's very important if you want to go, uh, you want to do marketing, do advertising. It's very important for you to uh, show your good sense, sense, taste on your personal profile. Because now I think some of the advertising agents they will check your Instagram when they interview you. You know, if your your profile is very uh, designed, you show good taste on your profile. They will think that you are a very creative person. You know how to use this kind of uh, tools to promote something, promote yourself. So it's very important nowadays to learn uh, knowledge about social media marketing. And we, uh, when we work at the agency, we build these pages for clients and make their image or promote their campaigns. We almost uh, and we have to raise their followers. It's our uh, most important, one of the most important job to do. And second is we have to uh, get more, uh, more um, how do you say, media release and more promotions. So I want to ask you, do you know which one of these kind of news type, in those news type, which one was uh, by uh, media, but which one was uh, free, but is actually uh, what brands ask the journalists to put up. I mean, 就是我用中文讲它就是这里面的这些新闻标题你们觉得哪一个是使用广告手段 we paid for the uh, release 我们花钱去买的 或者是哪一个是品牌它透过PR的关系去得到的一个免费的 free um, news release. Which one is free through PR or which one is by through advertising? Do you know? Oh, this one? Yeah. Yes. This one is advertising. Then which one is through PR? Through PR agency, they build a good relationship with the um, news media, so they give them free uh, News release. Which one do you think is free? The one on top. Which one? The one on top. This one. Yes. So as you can see, the by the media you bought, they will have this kind of sponsor, but they will hide in this kind of uh, news pages. So most the customers don't know that they are buying, but I think you are all smart, so you can tell that this is a uh, media buy, and this kind of news, if you can see the brand logo or their brand name on the titles, mostly they are uh, released from the PR agency. They give the, the news they want to release and the, the media will give them free uh, posts. So it's what we do in PR agents. We, uh, daily socialize with the journalists, we have good connections with them. So if we have some news we want to pub publicly for free, they can do it for us for free. So it's very important to have good connections with the media. Mm -hmm. For example, this kind of e e IKEA news is totally uh, free from the PR agency. So this kind of work is very important. On well, if you want to work in a PR agency to have good connections with the journalists, with the media, to get a free public release. And next is events. Maybe if you think of PR, you think of this kind of fancy events for a new product release, of KOL, KOL influencers gathering, so this kind of event is also very big part of our work. If your brand wants to 
release some new products or introduce their new CEOs or they have to fix some problems so they have to have a, a gathering of the journalists. This kind of event is uh, thrown from the PR agency. So we have to design an uh, event for the customer and we have to pick who to attend this event to give the most uh, uh, biggest promotion. So this is also what we do at PR agency. And that is crisis communication. This is a recent news. So you know about Tesla, right? So Elon Musk <coughs> is every <laughs> troublesome people. He tweets a lot and say a lot of things that people, uh, journalists like to uh, you know, talk about this. So they have their own PR team to you know, help him fix his tweets. If he says something bad, their PR team has to go out and explain to the public, oh, this is what he, what, this isn't what he mean, this is false. What he did was wrong, what wasn't so wrong. So they have a PR team to you know, fix her person, uh, his personal problems or the company PR crisis. So this is a part, big part of job that PR agency does. And after, oh, do you have a break? No, you can, you can take a break. Oh, okay, okay. No, ma. Yeah, yeah, ma. Let's just take a break. Oh, uh, no, 10 minutes. Okay.
and the four is partnership management. As I would just say, for example, if you are working at an agency, you might to a PR agency, you might have to work with an advertising agency, and you have to report to the clients, and maybe you have to outsource your design to the designers. So you have to uh, communicate with different kind of people at the same project. So it's very important to match all the partners and stay good connection, good relationship with them. So make sure they won't like fail the project you ask them to do or not like not getting what they are, uh, they promise on time. So this kind of partnership management is very also uh, very important skills. And second is. Uh, next, I want to uh, talk about what kind of qualities. Uh, as, uh, as previous, we just talked about the skills. And next, we want to say about what kind of qualities are more like characteristic. We value in a uh, freshman. If you want to get into a company, what kind of freshman they, the company values the most? What kind of people they are searching for? And most, uh, the most important is like logical thinking. Uh, the logical thinking is the act of analyzing a situation and uh, coming up with a sensible solution. For example, the practice I asked you to do uh, is to test if you are thinking this through uh, logically. And now I want you, to, everyone, every each of you to do a simple practice to test if you are logical piece of people. So, now everybody please Take uh, a note or something. Do you have notes? Each one, everybody. So I want you to do write a
いですよ、ね、今のところ問題ないです。<笑>
Fortet. Like, yeah, I'm working on it and it's good. 
But if we have extra manpower, it can be better. So this kind of communication skills can influence what kind of person you are at work, what kind, what, how people think of you, and, and it can uh, very, it can be very effective if you have to work with a lot of people. If you give the image that you are very trust, trustful and you can handle everything with, uh, with uh, confidence and people will more uh, happy to or more uh, safe, feel safe to trust you to a bigger project. So I think have a good communication skills is also very important. So I recommend if you are having this kind of time, like group discussion, you can also use this discussion time to help your communication skills with your classmates, or you can talk to your teachers, or you can uh, join some different kind of after school projects to meet more people and, and practice different kind of communication skills to different kind of people. For example, people that are older than you, or they are totally working at a different field with you, they can uh, offer different kind of communications. Or even if you are having a part-time job, or your internship, this kind of experience is a very good uh, place to let you practice the communication with different kind of people in different kind of situations. And third, I think uh, take initiative at work means a lot because simply uh, put your working attitude is among all the matters and no one likes to work with someone who is passive at work like you don't give a shit of anything you just came here and get paid and you are not interested on how the company is going to uh, gr uh, grow or what, what your co-workers are doing you are just and you attend the meeting with no totally no comments. You are not into the communication that everybody's uh, doing. So this kind of personality will uh, give the people around you that you are lazy or you are not trustworthy. So be sure if you are having an inter interview, even you are not a very active, very confident people, you have to try to show that I'm, not, I'm shy, but I am responsible, I'm responsible, I'm very responsible. I want to, I, I'm not a good, I, I'm not good at communication, but I am, I have thoughts. You have to show the company that you are people with thoughts. Even you are not a very uh, socialized people, still uh, showing you have passion or showing you, have, you are caring about what you do is very important. So, and what can we do to improve those qualities I just said? And first, as I just uh, recommend you to take every text given from the teachers more serious and be a team player. For example, when I was at college, I really hate teamwork. So I won't choose any kind of course that needs to do a team project, a team presentation. And it's a, it was a bad choice, so I would strongly recommend you if you have a team project, team presentation, you take it and take it serious because this is the only chance you can uh, practice how to present present uh, uh, your your ideas, and you can work with different kinds of people that have different kinds of characters, and you might have a if you have this kind of experience. When you go to the company, you won't be afraid to work with a lot of uh, different kind of people from different kind of backgrounds. Because uh, if you go into a company, you will meet a lot of different kind of people. They are maybe they are not graduated from college. Maybe they are from another country. Maybe they speak different languages and different share different cultural backgrounds with you. So this kind of difference will make the project more difficult. So if you have a time to practice to working with uh, different kind of people, uh, people from different kind of background, you take a chance and be prepared. Because if you go to the company and 
you say, I don't know how to present and I don't know how to uh, work with people, I don't know how to uh, manage a project, people will think that you are uh, not uh, 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 能力他們會覺得就是如果你沒有辦法好好的跟大家溝通的話那可能就是你就是沒有辦法就升任這些工作所以我會建議就是如果你們真的很有想要就是就是在就是拿到好好的實習或是今天好的公司的話那盡量就
And then I learned those kinds of marketing skills through the job. So actually, you don't have to be qualified enough to do any of this kind of advertising or marketing job. You only have to show that you have logical thinking and you have your opinion and you have good communication skills. That will be enough for you to do this kind of job. And you can learn everything of what I said through work. You mentioned earlier that you worked for three different branches of PR. Yes. One was an ad agency, the other was in-house, and then the third one was advertising. Uh, the PR firm. The um, PR firm, advertising firm, and in-house. Yes. Yeah, in-house. For someone who's planning to do that but has no previous experience, which would you say is the best um, first time kind of job? Or you mean the which is the best for first job choice? Yeah, right. first job choice. Okay, so I will say that it depends. Are you more into sales or are you more into like uh, creative thinking? Mm -hmm. If you like creative thinking and you like to like uh, events, this kind of thing, you go into a PR firm. And if you like to chase the sales, and you like advertising, designing the like websites, and you can go choose an advertising firm. But I think the in-house will be the next. You have your experience in PR agency and or in advertising firm. You use these kind of skills to get into the brand. Okay. Uh. On as what was the process of you getting those jobs? Was that did you find this job or they find you or was it your intern or and did you get this job right after your graduation? <laughs> okay, so I uh, I found the first two jobs and the third job came to me because I I was their agency and they I, I told them I was quitting I'm quitting and they invited me to join their company. So I think that it's very important if you want to make a career, you uh, deal with your clients every, or anybody you meet at work very seriously. And they will remember your work. And if you are finding a next job, people will help you. And they all have connected because if you are working on marketing, advertising, they are all connected together. So make your impression good at with people's and if you are changing a job, if they have good uh, chance, they will recommend you. So it's more easier to get into a brand with uh, introduction, people's recommendation. Okay, so please just train your communication and people skill more. So as an ad agency, so um, do you have to so you will make a marketing plan, or is that belongs to the marketing team of the company? Uh, it depends on companies. So small companies, they don't have their own marketing plan, uh, marketing team. So they will always source all the marketing plans to the agency. But if you are working in a big company, they have they can uh, strategy all their marketing plans in the company, and they will so outsource those things they don't, they don't want to do themselves, for example, doing the events or contact the media. They outsource this kind of job to the agency, but they think of their own money strategy first. So it depends on what kind of, the how, how big the company is, and do they have this kind of team. Okay, so um, the next uh, question related to that one. Okay. Um, so the marketing, agency when they, they produce like a TVCs or on campaign, does the marketing agency they ensure or they quarantine the outcome, the revenues or the sales of the campaign? Sorry. Okay. Uh, so uh, does the, the agency they ensure the, the outcome of the campaign? Oh, so the okay. outcome, how much you can sell? Okay. So if you work in a uh, advertising agency, the clients will give you their target, uh, their KPI. 
So if you're working on this kind of agency, you have to have the ability to uh, know if this KPI is reasonable. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes clients give you unreasonable KPI. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the ability to make sure the KPI is reasonable. Is uh, you are you have the you are available to do to pro, pro, that so, such a uh, sales. So it's important first. And if you set the KPI goals and your clients and your firm both agree, then you go to the next process to build a marketing plan to uh, complete this KPI. So this is the process. Okay, so it's very important for you to have enough knowledge to uh, make sure your, your KPI the client give, giving you is reasonable. Okay. Uh, for most of our students, we don't have any uh, work experience. Yes. But I checked some of the company they released their job position that requires like two years working experience. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask if, if that's possible for us, that like, soon after graduating the school, we can get that job. Uh, mm -hmm. It's possible. Mm -hmm. if, uh, because this kind of job, they requires mostly some special skills. For example, if you are interested, uh, you are, if you are interested in uh, digital marketing, you can study to do uh, some study for like Google uh, Analytics, Google Adverts, their uh, platform, or you, if you can study there right now, and they have some license you can take. So you can take those kind of license while you are still working, uh, studying in college. And if you have this kind of skills, you can say that, yeah, I don't have two years working experience, but I totally get what's be behind this work. And you might have the chance okay. to get work, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'll add to what Alan was asking about. Um, I believe if you go to that in interview with um, enough passion in the job that you want, even with all experience, you stand a better chance to get that job versus someone who is there inside. Yeah, of course, of course. I think mm -hmm. it helps in your whole thing too. If you have passion in what you're mm -hmm. doing, even though you didn't set out to do that in the first place, sure. so it helps you to go forward in your job. Because yes. uh -huh. I did apply for jobs, and then that mm -hmm. required like two years working experience. Mm -hmm. So that means my resume was denial at the first day. Not day. Not yeah, not not I do apply for several companies. I think that if you are applying for a job that requires some job uh, experience, so you uh, you check what kind of requirements they asking for the job, and you find the most similar experience you had, and uh, make it connected to the uh, skills they wanted, and then they will boost your uh, ability to get a job. It's a hard to do a couple of things. Yeah, like, like, yeah, so that couple of things is like a bubble for the resume that's good. So if you let them know, yes, like, I may not have experience, but I'm willing to learn. Mm -hmm. um, I saw the, the, the company list on your PPT, like, and that is um, the, the, the triangle one. Okay. That is one company called. Mm -hmm. E Edenma, the E D E L N N. I want to know, is it a good one? Like, is it a good <laughs> reputation <laughs> one? Okay, so there are all big ones. Oh. Um, so all I can say that PR agency they don't pay well. Okay, oh. they are all good companies. So if you don't mind the pay. <laughs> if you if you get into these three big companies, it will help your next job. Yeah, because if, if you work at these three agents, I think those friends okay. they will check you in immediately. Because I might get the offer from Edelman, but it's in Thailand. Oh, internship, the for for the internship. So I don't know if it's worth it for me to fly back and to stay in quarantine <laughs> <laughs> and quarantine again. <laughs> uh, uh, do you do they uh, offer you the if you finish the internship you might get the official jobs? Oh, that one I haven't like um uh, 
this I am confirmed yet. Okay. Yeah. So basically, if you have internship there, they will take you as an official worker actually that if you are doing a good job to towards this the whole internship. And if you work at this kind of big firm, you can go to anywhere after home. Maybe for your career development. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but baseball. How, like she said. Uh, for a recent graduate, let's say I like we all graduate in the in the coming years, yeah. how difficult would you say it would be to get hired or accepted into one of these um, companies, like regardless of the name? Because I'm assuming that there will also be a lot of other people applying, but would you say we have a good chance or should we be a bit more uh, I, I would say that always be prepared for yourself and you don't have to worry about if there are chances because if there are, you, are, you are prepared if there are low chances not, not so many jobs they are hunting asking for people if you are prepared there are always job coming for you so you don't think so much if the job is suitable for you you'll get it yeah and this kind of job is always wanting people because uh, there are always needs. You yeah. always new products selling, always new brand on are launching. So right. these needs needs are never decline. Okay. Well, well, I know why the graduates are working in PNG Johnson Johnson Porsche. Really? You didn't yeah. introduce me to this kind of <laughs> <laughs> I wanted well, to push. Okay. They did well, so okay. there is a chance. Okay. Heard that if you need uh, some interview, you ask me I saw that you mentioned project management. Yeah. Um, as a young person coming up, what would be most difficult part of you know, project. doing project management or being a project manager? Management, I think you have to be uh, well knowledge about all the. Uh, for example, if you are selling this product, you have to import the port. You have to check the legal checking, and you have to do the sales marketing. So you have to have enough knowledge with all these kind of teams, so you can manage their work if they are doing good job. If they are doing on time, if they if the they are if the KPI they give you is reasonable, because if the import time takes like two months and give they talk, he tells you like I can finish in two weeks, you know he's lying. So you have to uh, have an, enough knowledge on everything you work, so you can uh, tell if they are really uh, gonna finish what you ask for. So I think you have you need to have a lot of knowledge. In Everything. Okay. One, one last question. Um, when you said that PR agencies pay low, <laughs> but <laughs> also, also okay, no. But how about actual consultancy? Consultancy. Would you see yourself consulting instead of okay? Maybe you get experience for about three, five years, uh -huh. and then you're like, oh, this this is not worth it. Would you go to consultancy? Would you be a PR consultant or advertising consultant? Uh, so you you mean if the job uh, two or three years experience in this kind of firm, what is next coming next? Okay, so you can as I did, I get into the brand side, so I can do a bigger see a bigger image and to control more things, and also you can just build your career in the one company. But if you want to do agency, I suggest you you can experience different kind of agency and you becoming a marketing consultant. Mm -hmm. So you are, you are like an uh, outsourced marketing consultant to companies and advise they how to do their brand uh, build their marketing strategy. This this is also a work. They have a lot of consultant companies. You can you can switch from agencies to consultant companies. Which specific platforms did you use to apply for your job? Platform? <laughs> okay, I was using uh, because I my my major was Japanese, so I use uh, I don't know have you 
her is I guess like Persona. Um, it's like a headhunting company. I, I will recommend you use headhunting companies because the they Persona is specialized for Japanese companies. Yes, but they also have like are they a lot of different kind of headhunting companies. Uh, they have some like secret uh, job <laughs> that are not showing on the news, uh -huh. you know. So agency they always have a better offer from the news or the So if you are searching for a job, I recommend you, you can use this kind of agency to help you find a job. And the question is. Um, if she wants to ask, as a foreign student, would it be harder for us to be accepted into these companies as compared to local students? Because so far, there have been um, preferences towards Taiwanese students. Oh, you mean in Taiwan? Yeah, yes. in Taiwan. I, I think not a big problem because many companies I know now because they are extending marketing in market in like Thailand, Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia, and this uh, Philippines. So this kind of countries is what uh, if people uh, you know because Taiwan market is already like quite uh, yeah. So they want to most of the company they already have their business in Taiwan. They use Taiwan as the jump. Right. Yeah, and they, they yes, to these kind of Asian countries. Right. So they are hiring higher some mm -hmm. people. They can also speak English and the local languages, also uh, some Mandarin. So mm -hmm. if you are searching for this kind of job, it's very easy to get in. Where can I search for that job? Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, if I see one, I, I will send you. Okay. Thank you. But it's uh, always required the Mandarin. Chinese, right? Uh, no, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. well, of course, it's plus. It's plus. Not always. Yeah. Not always. Unless we have to understand what they are talking in the meeting. Uh, I mean, in Taiwan, I think if you have enough English skills and if your company, your co workers are also in the, have the same level of English skills, I think it's not a big problem because I know a lot of like venture. venture uh, companies they are hiring a lot of foreigners in Taiwan. So I think English, if your English is enough, and it's a uh, Mandarin can be just a plus for you. But your English has to be very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm tired already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shouldn't be discouraged. Yeah. You know, like like Alan asked. You know, of course there are conditions, right? Those jobs. But you are not the one who is choosing. Right? That, that's company's business. They choose. They screen out. Right? So if you find job openings, just go for it. Yeah. Even though you, even if you don't have two years of ex experience, mm -hmm. even though you don't speak much Chinese, just you know, go for it. Yeah. Then see how they feel it's about you. Awesome. Right? So if you're good enough, then they may take you. Yeah. That's always the case in any industries. Yeah. And if there is a people with two years experience but he, like she seems not so interesting on everything, mm -hmm. has no passion on it. Right. And there is a freshman who is totally a, a flash freshman not knowing nothing but she's like, I really like the industry. Mm -hmm. I really like makeup. I watch makeup videos every night. Mm -hmm. I'm so passionate with it. And I'll take this one because mm -hmm. He, uh, she is very passionate with what we are, the company is doing. So this is the most important qualities the companies want. Mm -hmm. You have to love your the thing you are doing. If you are not loving the things you are selling to people, you won't be so convinced. You know? Any Like, uh, how can you explore yourself? Um, like, you 
in in true that part. Okay, so uh, for example, are you more into like uh, numbers, or you like more um think uh, creating thinking about planning? If for example, if you are uh, are you willing to organize an event for people? For example, uh, graduation reunion. If uh, you are into this kind of uh, Events, or you are more like uh, people who likes to calculate things, thinking things. You you can this explore yourself from this kind of different parts. If you are a people person, outgoing, you're willing to uh, talk to a lot of people. I would recommend you can go to PR agency because it involves a lot of people skills. But if you will be, you are more into like uh, an analyze things. Chasing numbers, I will recommend you to advertising agency because you have to chase some real numbers for KPIs. Yeah. And you can, if you are doing advertising, you want to know about advertising, you can, there are a lot of like free lessons on YouTube. You can watch and not think about if you are liking this or not. Anyone else? Okay. No more questions. If you have a further questions, you can uh, reach me through Professor Nakagawa, and he will ask me, and I can answer feedback to you after this. Thank you for listening. To me. A very good, good talk, right? Mm -hmm. You learn a lot more oh, at home. I hope. <laughs> good. But a very good question from all of you guys. So once again, <laughs> and if you have any questions, you can ask her later. Probably she will be um, here for a while. And okay, so that's why. Yeah. So next week we have another um, speaker, uh, Mr. Tai Han Tsai. He's been working in uh, in different places, Taiwan, Japan, Singapore. And he's um he's another character. Uh, he graduated from YZU Guangli uh, Business College of uh, Management. And right after he graduated. Um, he didn't speak any Japanese, but he decided to study Japanese. Then I asked him why, and he said, well, my English is already good. <laughs> <laughs> then he went to Japan for, and picked up the language in one year, then started walking there. Then later he went to Singapore too. So he'll come next week. Then, uh, as so the next week is March 2nd, right? Then March 9th, this will be the first uh, reflection. Okay, and one third of the students will write this reflection one. Okay, and the rest of the students will comment. Okay, comment on the reflection. But uh, as of now, March 9th, no class meeting. Okay, so we do, we do not meet in the classroom. All right? Got it? Okay. All right. Okay. So no. Um, the reflection is on all speakers. Uh, so this reflection should be on the whatever we did in the previous. It can be this talk, or it can be what I uh, talk about. Okay. Anything. Anything is fine. You can, you can comment on some other students' you know, questions. Okay. So I'll let you know who will write the first week actually. Next week. Okay. All right. So if no questions, um, you need to show the video. Yeah. Thank you for
Yeah, class is over. So, uh, did you guys sign? Everybody sign on the form? Everybody sign. Okay. Good. Then, now, uh, she has to do something. So, please listen to me. So, uh, guys, um, because this class is for internship, and then I'm going to play the video of uh, workplace sexual harassment protections. Okay, so you can decide to watch or not. It's free. But it's have 18 minutes. It's all in Chinese, so I'm not going to force you to watch over. But if you if you like to watch, you can you can you can enjoy it. But if you don't, but if you don't, you can leave and then yeah, suit yourself. Oh, my God. 